Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today I am going to show you video of, uh, of, uh, I guess a near-death experience would be fair? I don't really know if I would call it that now, but, um, uh, a tree fell on my house and nearly fell on me and, uh, demolished my entire room. And, uh, I took some video of it because I thought you guys might want to see what had happened and why... Uh, things might be changing on the channel slightly going forward, at least temporarily. I'm not in a very good recording environment um, for a variety of reasons, because <laughs> it's not a private room. Um, but hopefully I can still create content that will <laughs> attract viewers. Uh, I'll do my best for that. Uh, this video will be mostly unedited, uh, just showing you the damage. At the end, I'll uh, talk a little bit more about a GoFundMe I've set up. Uh, the link will be in the description, but yeah, I'll get to the video now. Hello, this is uh, where I put my stuff right now. This is my laptop. You can see this has still got dust left on it from where the roof fell in on it. I got my various electronics I managed to save in pieces over here. <laughs> Just kind of piled up. Let's go... Hold on. Uh, this is the door. I need to go in here and get a couple things anyway, so this is going to work out. Yesterday, there weren't leaves in here, but uh, somebody came by tarped the roof you can also see that it's pretty soaked on the floor here somebody came in and tarped the roof and before they did it, oh i think i can still see daylight over there i'm looking over oh yeah <laughs> that's funny uh, it's funny for some people i guess um right i came in here for something very specific so this is normally where i record these are the little lights when uh, the when the roof fell on me here, uh, <laughs> fortunately it wasn't the rafters. The rafters fell over here. You can kind of see that a little bit. Um, but yeah, no. When the roof fell on me and I was getting stuff out, hear my dad in there trying to figure out some stuff. Um, I couldn't get these cords unhooked, so I literally just took a knife and cut them so I could carry my electronics out. Let me grab the one thing I need real quick. Because these got to dry off one way or the other before I even use them. I've lost everything, basically. You could, it's, the weird part is, is that like, like for example, that stuff over there is still plugged in and work. I, I had never considered the idea that the power could be on when something this catastrophically bad happens. But here we are anyway. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the camera shot from where we would normally. Let's see if I can. Uh, you can see the. There's my you're wrong about poster. There's uh, the other one behind there. This is normally about where we are. There's that. There's that. I, I, that's just that's just too perfect that that's half torn down. Also, you can't see it from here. I don't think. But uh, right over there where the everything fell in. That's where I sleep normally <laughs> so um it worked out well i'm gonna go outside and take some camera there too diligently working he uh, hurt himself a couple of days ago <laughs> technically he hurt himself a couple of years ago I'm gonna set this down and get uh, some stuff done but I'm still gonna talk hopefully you can hear me I don't actually know if the microphone in this works or not it's covered in roof dust too no um he fell actually I'm doing you know we're going outside I'll show you exactly what happened twice 
Alright. Alright. Actually, I won't be able to show you exactly what happened, I don't think, because I think the place that he fell the second time is now covered in tree. But, in the meantime, let's go over. So everything looks fine from here, you know? It was good. Good. But it ain't good. We're going to go over here and find out how not good it is. Uh, make our way around the tree branches that are all over. Just all over. Alright. So, Dad was carrying a fish tank, I think about three years ago, down this hill right here. And he slipped and he knocked the fish tank into his kneecap. And basically rendered that entire knee completely useless. And then didn't go to the doctor for it. And then recently, <laughs> when this was less treacherous. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, actually, I haven't gotten this close to it before. When this was less treacherous, you can see that there's some roots in the ground, maybe. Right here. He tripped and he hit his knee on them again a few days ago. And it knocked him out. Now, that's my room right there. This is the tree. We had some guys come by last night. Oh, it is that tree. Oh, it's both of them. That's what happened. That tree, hold on. That tree fell into that tree and probably knocked a chunk off of it. That's what happened over here. I now have a better sense of what happened. Anyway. Gosh. Um... <laughs> So yeah, this is the stuff that fell on my uh, fell on my uh, room. I'm gonna go around the other way so you maybe get a better kind of general sense of what's going on up here. But yeah, just on that corner right there. But there was some tree on the rest of the house. But what ended up happening was those other guys cut it off and threw it off. But some of it's just you know impossible for them to get off completely, right? Or with the, or with, I should say, without. Uh, expert tools some guys with some chainsaws and some tarps came by I think from my mother's church and did a little bit of cleaning thank God putting the tarps in but uh yeah let's uh go around the other side and get some good images oh man I'd show you me, but I ain't doing so well right now. Well, I mean, I'm not... I, that makes it sound like I'm super injured or something. I'm just not feeling great. I don't have... I don't have... I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just... Unhealthy as sin, which you can probably hear in my voice as I just barely take a little walk around. Oh, God bless it. Got a mosquito on my hand. And he got me some. So... Yeah, that happened. Let's uh, keep going over here. Mosquitoes don't normally go for me. Huh. I guess it's because I'm the only thing out here. You know, from this side, it don't look half bad. But it is half bad. I can't tell what's happened with that tarp. Did it fall? What's going on with that? Anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is my life right now. That room is where I, you know, live. Uh, actually, past tense, because there ain't no way I'm living in there now. Yeah, that's, uh, so that tree fell down and hit one of our trees. Huh, yep, yeah, all right. I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like that tree fell, cracked off, fell into the other tree, and they both fell into our yard. The tree over there didn't actually do any damage, but it knocked into a tree that then knocked into the house that then did the damage. <sighs> All right. Anyway, you know what? Let's turn this around. I'm not wearing a... I don't know if you can... Oh, I have a... Sorry there, buddies. It's a little foggy, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, that's me. That's what's happening. I'll see you guys 
in the next video. <laughs> yeah, I apologize for the ending being fuzzy, or I guess uh, foggy a little bit. I didn't realize that the humidity would cause the lens to fog up as much as it had, and I wasn't looking at the viewfinder closely enough, I guess. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> I would be surprised, but uh, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload the videos. I have started a GoFundMe for trying to replace both the stuff that I lost and also fix the house, which is probably going to be 99% of the costs associated with this particular <laughs> incident. <laughs> oh man, I've already got some... Um, estimates on the damages and it's uh it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty big deal but uh yeah well uh i've got a gofundme set up the link will be at the very very top of the description uh if you can please donate but uh i just want to be clear that like if it's don't hurt yourself to help me if you can't donate just you know take care of yourself that's more important and, uh, you know, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsamarian and pledge at any level, like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged $100. And uh, I really hope that I'm not alone out here. I will see you all again, hopefully next Wednesday. Oh, and sorry for not doing dank memes today. Something came up. <laughs> I'll uh, probably do it either next week or the week after that. Uh, again, apologies.